It's time to reveal it. Your team stinks. <laughs> Your team stinks. So here's the thing. Last week, we had a really reasonable conversation. Absolutely. It was fair. It, it, I think it, we were trying to come in and look at programs from the 80s and 90s and 2000s that dominated college football yep. and, and ask how those programs that have now returned to the pack can then rise again. And you even preached patience. And yep. it got clipped out and it was out on the world of Twitters. And all of a sudden, my wall is filled with hate from <laughs> Nebraska fans because they're telling us we need patience. All right. Let me, let me explain this to you, Nebraska fans, as, as loudly and proudly as I can. Your team might be good in a few years. Your coach might be great in a few years. You guys might return to prominence. But today, right now, your team stinks. And I don't just mean a little bit. Your team is terrible. You should be embarrassed by how bad Nebraska football is today. Okay? I can't say it any louder than that. I get they might become good at some point. Congratulations. But today, right now, like, save yourself the Saturdays, go to the fair, go to the flea market, and stop watching this trash. You okay? You got yeah, that off good. the chest? You feel okay? I feel okay, just want to make sure you was good. Nah, but I'm not going to sit here and refute anything you said. No, no, because thank you are trash. Like, it's just been a lackluster performance in so many different ways for that Nebraska team. The fact that they got off to the worst start in program history since, what is it, 1945 at this point, with a loss today. It's really tough to really look at this team and have any semblance of hope. But I'm here to tell you, again, patience is a major key in this, right? The first two seasons that Scott Frost spent at UCF weren't great, right? Like he went, he didn't win a game his first year. Second year, picked it up, had six wins. And then you wound up having Jason Fitz's favorite season in all of the group of five uh, teams and going 13-0 and mm -hmm. claiming themselves mm -hmm. As national champions, but today was ugly. I guess like Eastern Carolina Community College, it's don't fine. Do this, it's don't fine. Do this. Okay, you try to spice people up way too much. <laughs> Again, I'm trying to give Nebraska faithful a little bit of hope as we watch Michigan run through. Hope, them hope. On you lose 56 team. to 10. It wasn't great. 56 I'm not here to rationalize to I mean, today's loss. Fifth, can, can one more time. 56 to 10. Look, it's not just me. It's not just me talking about things. It's not just me looking at the fact that this is rough, right? Like they, their own players, their own players. Look at Tanner Farmer. This was earlier this week talking about what teammates need to do. Check this out. Any guys that aren't buying in, either buy in or move out for the guy who's going to buy in. Um, you know, as, and as, as leaders, we have to step in and make sure we need to hold these guys responsible. Um, sometimes it's just they don't know any better. It's truly just committing everything. I don't have free time. I'm up from dusk till dawn, dedicating myself to football and schoolwork. Make sure I'm passing my classes and I want to do everything I can. You do an extra stuff. If you want to go to yoga, watch more film. That's what it takes. You don't really get a social life during football season. Either, either leave it or take it. That's all I got to say. When you have a player saying that out loud, there's a message being sent. And the message being sent is very clear there. And look, uh, you're right. At some point, Nebraska may be great today. In this moment, it should be noted, FPI, who's smarter than all of us, the yes. stats guys, uh, note that the Huskers are underdogs in six of the eight games that are coming up. Next week's game against Purdue is a virtual coin flip. According to the stats guys, there's a 4% chance that Nebraska goes winless this year. 4% though, so that's incurred, right? So it's you're just, telling me there's a listen, chance. It's, it, listen, that's that's all we're asking for. A chance Coward. to kind of get out. It, that's what I'm just saying, man. It's playing the percentages. But <laughs> I think what you do worry about, Scott Frost isn't in Florida anymore, which is a recruiting hotbed. He's in the nowheresville that is Nebraska. So getting folks to come out there is a little bit more of a challenge, and then you're in a better conference. So there's a lot of things that you're – you may be concerned with when you're looking at the Nebraska situation going forward, but he's proven himself as a coach. You're hoping that takes hold and they get it going here. But for yeah. now, your team stinks. You're going to be, Sorry. yeah, you're going to be concerned about getting your butt whooped 56 to 10.